In this video, we will show you how to create a simple wing using 3D experience. Excel is a great tool for manipulating your airfoil data prior to importing it into 3D experience. Airfoil profiles come with normalized X and Y coordinates. We need to scale these coordinates by the cord length and convert to three dimensional space. We scale the data to a cord length of 150 millimeters. This Excel workbook is also set up to accommodate offsetting and rotating coordinates. In the approach we are using, the offsets are zero, but the coordinate system is rotated. The data has been arranged in the format required by 3D Experience. However, we only want the resulting data. So, we simply cut and paste the resulting data into a separate Excel file. We then save it as a text file and change the file extension from txt to asc. In this format we will be able to simply drag the file into 3D experience. In 3D experience, we have created a 3D shape, with a general layout of our plane. We have also created publications for the key features. These include, a point at the origin, and the end points of the leading edge of the wing. We will use these, to position our airfoil profiles. We have also inserted a 3D part, for the wing's aero surface. This is where we will create our surface geometry. We can use the digitized shape preparation app, to convert the airfoil data into geometric points. After double clicking on the 3D shape in the aero surface part, we insert a geometric set. Then, we simply drag and drop the ASC file for the wing base, into the geometric set. The symbols can be difficult to see, so we will change their visualization. At this stage, we do not have geometric points. If we zoom out, you can see that the cloud of data is located at the origin. Next, we select the Cloud to Points tool, on the Digitize Data tab of the action bar, and select the data from the tree. This creates geometric points. Now we can translate the points to the base of the wing. We use the points that we published in our layout 3D shape. By keeping the link, our wing surface can be modified by editing the simple layout. We repeated the process for points at the wingtip. After switching to the generative wireframe and surface app, we can create splines through these two sets of points. We can capture all the points by clicking on the first point, click and holding down the shift key, and clicking on the last point. Again we repeat the process for the wingtip. For our next steps, we want to make sure that only the splines are visible. We create curves connecting the leading and trailing edges. These curves will be used as guides when we create the surface. If we had a more complex wing shape with more arrow profiles, we might need to create splines for the guide curves. With our guide curves defined, we can now create a multi-section surface.
We need to close the tip and the trailing edge. We can create a fill surface by selecting the two edges of our surface and then inserting a line at the trailing edge. After using a similar process on the trailing edge, we now have three surfaces. The last step is to perform a join operation. This simple wing is now ready for us to perform a flow simulation.